Hey, my name is João. I'm 27 from Lisbon. Now I'm drawing and trying to paint um, after a long time without doing so. And I'm here to tell you a little bit more about João Pedro, aka Raspberry. So, about my work, at the moment I'm really trying to focus on textures because I haven't uh, drawn anything in a long time and um, I like, yes, to be colorful and playful but also um, I like to put a, like an undertone of awareness and um, not dark but disruptive into into my work it's a little bit like it's all perfect in some way and uh, it's not really um, for an example uh, the, the recent frogs i've been drawing they are all beautiful but in my mind they are still poisonous so it's something along <laughs> those lines So, Lisbon and all of its charms. I am uh, currently working more on a natural uh, basis, like animals and plants. And uh, Lisbon has a lot of it, really. Um, but the main, the main things you are actually used to see are like the architecture. It's really interesting and not very common in a modern country. Uh, we have some traditional standpoints and some some things we like, I guess. Um, I will be exploring it uh, more in the future. I am working on something more abstract about wine uh, because it's like I think the mid term between uh, between something natural, which is the grape, and um, what we do with it because uh, we are very good in. Uh, wine and all of its glory. <laughs> So professionally, I, I think I'm able now, very recently, to, to sell, uh, to be... How can 
I said is to be really aware and happy with what I sell to, to someone who wants to buy from me. So it's very, very recent. In terms of artistry and uh, my background, I, I left it on the shelf for a long, uh, long time um, because I never felt it was like something uh, you could do professionally. I never grew up with uh, an idea that I could be an artist and live off of that. So um, I'm making amends in some way right now. Um, about what I may or may not um, give to, to someone who sees my art, I think my main goal, it would be that it's okay not to be, uh, I don't know how to say this, but it's okay to be good. We are not all good all the times, but sometimes we need escapism. Sometimes we need to deal with things and uh, I'm dealing with things, but I, I also like to see beautiful things uh, so um, the dealing of the bad things uh, doesn't seem so tragic and dramatic because uh, it's all we have, you know, the, the reality so I think I like to bring an escape but also give uh, some kind of relief, I guess So if my life was in a book, it would be called uh, Sorry About the Flowers because I think uh, the gesture, it's, oh, it's almost like a, I don't know, an institution giving flowers to say sorry. So, um, this frog, it's a really good one for me, I think, and I got to, I think, do exactly what I envisioned, and that was like the really the first time I felt like, okay, this, um, this turned out uh, as I expected. So if you want to check out my work, you can do it on Instagram, draw.raspberry. And if you um, need anything from me, <laughs> you can contact me by my business email, which is raspberriesvault at gmail.com. I think it's a little bit abstract to someone that doesn't have this as a responsibility so it happens a lot and uh, it's something I'm trying to deal with a little bit better and um, yes, it happens So I can't really pinpoint something in particular that led me to view art as I see it today, but um, I felt like what was maybe an escape now is just a little more personable and uh, acknowledgeable as I see uh, a little bit more beneath the surface and that's just growing up I think. I think I would give them the same advice as I would give myself. The pressure is not uh, a bad thing. You have to learn how to deal with it. And uh, if your message is valid, if you feel like you have something to, uh, something to say, just uh, keep saying it. Someone will listen and I think we all have our doubts, but uh, it's, it's a matter of resiliency, really.